Hey everybody, well good morning. Well you know it seems a bit dark in here. Thing is if I open the blinds, I wonder if I open that one, um, it reflects. I'll try and open this blind over here, just bear with me. This gives me a little bit more light. Um, right, so today you can see I look a mess. I'm going to do a get ready with me and also I've got a, another wig from Irresistible Me, which I'm going to put on, hence my hair being a mess. Uh, I'm going to show you the wig. And then, as I said in a previous video, um, I've got two wigs from Irresistible Me and I'm going to give them, I'm going to gift them to someone, anyone who needs a wig um, for a medical reason. I don't need to know the reason. Uh, there's a brown wig and a blonde wig. So all you need to do is put in the comments box, brown or blonde. I'll know that you want it and I, I'll know that you need it for a medical reason. You don't have to tell me why. And then I'll draw two out, um, maybe in a week or two, and then I'll send the wigs off to you. Um, because I probably won't wear them, you know, and, I, and they are very expensive wigs, so it's nice for somebody to get the benefit of them. Um, and it's very kind of irresistible me to gift them to me. They're not paying me for the video, but they sent me the, vi uh, the wigs. Um, so, it's only fair that I show them, yeah. Um, right, first of all, I'm going to do a get ready with me. And what I'm going to do is I've got quite a bit of Charlotte Tilbury makeup that I've had over the years. Um, I've had like my sister-in-law and my daughter bought me some and then I got a mystery box. So what I'm going to do is try and do a get ready with me just using Charlotte Tilbury. Now I've moisturized and put SPF on. I haven't um, got any Charlotte Tilbury cream. <laughs> it's too expensive. Although I did have some of the magic cream at one time. Uh, my son bought me some. Um, so I've just put on, I put just some moisturiser on and some Clinique, I think. And then I've put uh, this, I don't think I've ever seen it. This, I don't know if I've shown it before. It's Wild Mint uh, Viva Vibe SPF. And it's all natural and it's SPF 30. Um, if I can find it, I'll link it in the description box. And I'll try and link the Charlotte Tilbury products that I use um, if I can, if I can find them. Some of them I've had a while, so they may not no longer be available. Right, so now a couple of things I haven't got in the Charlotte Tilbury, so I may have to substitute for something else. Now I have got um, somewhere a Charlotte Tilbury foundation. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Um, so I'm going to put that on first. I shall, I'll perhaps show you in the mirror. Oh, I don't think you can see in the mirror. I'll have to do here. If I look to the side, please forgive me. I might try and find a better position uh, to put um, you in. It's quite, it's nice, this foundation. I quite like the applicator as well. It's got quite a nice finish to it. Right, just let's see if I can move you a bit. I used to have a little stand that I can put on here and I've lost it. I have ordered another one from Amazon. So um, that should be coming today. So, <laughs> right. So I've put the foundation on. As you can see, I just use my fingers for most things. I have got brushes, but um, so I do like that. Uh, I've forgotten what shade it's in. Beautiful. I think they matched it when I went to Charlotte Tilbury once. I haven't got um, a Charlotte Tilbury, um, what do they call it, doodah, can't think what you call it, um, concealer. So I'll just use, this is an oldie one, so I'll just put a bit of that on. Right. Right, what's next? Now, eyeshadows. I've got um, a selection of eyeshadows. I've got 
um i've got a couple of these you know the the quads um i have two of those the hollywood oh no three actually i have had them bought as gifts over the years i always like sort of browns and neutrals uh, the only thing that I'm not mad on with those is um, the lovely, as you can see, I've used, you know, hit pan on some of them. They are lovely, but um, I'm not mad on my eyes on um, a sparkly one. They've all got like sparkling or whatever they call it. Uh, I prefer a matte one. I just think on older eyes, especially mine. Now I've got... So I do like these cream ones that they do. As you can see, I have a couple of these. I have an orangey one. My daughter was so kind, she bought me three one Christmas, a set of three. Um, I have a lighter one somewhere. There, I've got this lighter one. I do like this one. What's this called? champagne and then the other one that i use this was the very first one that i bought myself um it's more of a darker color is this an oyster is it called oyster yes it's called oyster it's called oyster pearl which is a bit misleading because it's darker than what you think that's the oyster pearl and that's the champagne so i'll just i'll use my fingers again i'll just put the champagne one on first I'm no makeup artist, honestly. Fingers again. <laughs> I find fingers work best for this with it being a cream. Um, you know, if it was a powder, I would use um, a brush. Sometimes I use a brush for the darker one. So I'm going to put the darker one on now, which is called Oyster Pearl. So I would leave you to believe that it was a lighter colour. I do like these eyeshadows. I find they're very easy to put on. And you, you can just put one on really quickly. I did actually get a cream eyeshadow from Primark that's um, not quite as good as these, but price wise. I do like the colors of these though. Right. As you see, I do it very quickly. That's the eyeshadow done. I don't really put eyeliner on very occasionally. If I was going out, I might do. Um, I never can. Uh, I need something to wipe my hands on. Oh, here. I usually have one of these um, microfiber cloths in the drawer to put it on. Right. So now this is a product. I love a Charlotte Tilbury. It's the brow. What's it called? Um, legendary brows i just find i like the um it's quite thin and i do like it i'm getting ready for a new one actually i do splash out and buy this i think it is about 20 pounds actually i think this one's practically done it does last me a long time i would say it would last me six months of using it every day. So that's legendary brows. You can see I'm very quick at putting it on. Oh, that's the top off the makeup. What have I done with that? Right, what's next? Right, some mascara. Now this is called Push Up Mascara push up lashes i don't use it every day because i do like the pericone one um i found this on me smudges but i do have smudgy eyes if you know what i mean most of them do smudge on me so it's probably not the product it's probably my eyes and i probably rub them too much when i have hay fever I usually put all put um, I usually put all my makeup on and then my eyes start um streaming and I have to rub it all off. 
Now, I don't put mascara on the bottoms. I know you're supposed to do it that way, but I, I just make a mess of it when I do it. Right. I'm not going anywhere, so I just think one coat of that's enough. Right, now, so what have I got? Now, the few blushes from um, Charlotte Tilbury. I have this one, which I've, I've loved this one. What's this called? I should have brought my glasses in. It's called Pillar Talk Multi Glow. As you can see, I've used a lot of it. And then I've got another one that I think my sister-in-law bought me this. Which is the, um, what's this called? Cheek to cheek to cheek. Oh, cheek to cheek. And this colour's called Sex on Fire. <laughs> right, so there's those two. And then I do have another one. The, it's a tint. I'm not too keen on this, so I don't think I'll be putting that one on. I do like these two. I like both of those. But obviously I don't want them both on. So I shall use this one today. And I do use a brush for this. I just pat it. As you can see, I now look like Coco the Clown. But we'll see if we can brush it off. Blend it in. And then I do have... You can see I don't spend a lot of time putting my makeup on, can't you? I do have um, a Charlotte Tilbury face powder. Do you know when I bought this it was really funny I couldn't get I couldn't get it out and of course we don't have anywhere around here that sells Charlotte Tilbury anyway when I went to traffic centre a few months later I said to her there's something I went to Charlotte Tilbury counter in Selfridges and I said oh there's something wrong with mine I said I can't get it out I said I'd done all sorts I put needles through and all sorts there was a piece of paper on it that I hadn't taken off <laughs> I felt such an idiot so I'll just uh, put a bit of this translucent powder on. I do quite like this. So, apart from the lipstick, <laughs> that's it. Right. Now, have I got a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick? I think that might be one. Yeah, that's one. Do I have another anywhere? I haven't got a lip liner. So I'm just going to put this lipstick on. And this lipstick is called, found my glasses now. <laughs> oh, I still can't read it with the glasses on. Why do they make things so? I can't read it. I'll, I'll, Get my son to read it and put it in the description box. I do prefer a little bit darker one than this. So that's that colour. I'll see if I can find a darker one just to top it up. Oh, I think that's a, another one that Charlotte's over. Can't read this one either. I think I got this in a mystery box. They are good value, the mystery boxes, but it's if you want the things in them. So there we are. That's a bit, a bit darker than the other. Right, so that's the makeup done. So now let's have a look at the wig. Oh, golly, I've taken a long time doing this. I might have to edit a lot out. Right, I shall just get the wig out. Just bear with me a minute. This is how the wig arrives in this lovely box. And I've got um, a darker one this time. It's sort of a brownie, auburny one. 
Now, I'm not too sure about this one because I do think you have to cut lace off. Um, now, I may try not cutting the lace off. I'll see if I can manage that because I'm giving this away to somebody. I don't want to spoil it for them. So let's take the net off. Can you see it fixed to your forehead there and you have to trim the lace? This is um, a no fringe one. It's a nice albany colour. Completely different to me. It'll probably look a bit like Wilbur Flintstone in it. Right, so I need to get rid of my hair at the moment. And also my fringe. Tie it back. Now they do usually, um, they do usually put a, a net in with, um, a cap in with them. But I can't see that in this one. Right, so. Trying to see which is the front and which is the back. I think it, this is it. So let's go. I'll just put it on and come back. Now there is a comb inside uh, there. I don't think you can see. And this elastic. Um, so it fits easily. And then there is an adjuster there if you need it to, you know, make it smaller. So here goes. Right. So here's the finished look. <laughs> Doesn't really suit me, does it? But it, it was difficult, really, because there's not many shorter ones. And the long, curly ones, I just think I'm too old for. <laughs> what do I look like? But they are beautiful wigs, and the hair is beautiful. You know, it's real hair. It is nice. But I obviously don't suit this colour. Although naturally I was darker, but not this reddy colour. So, <laughs> what I'll do is I'll put all the links to um, the wigs. Uh, and if I can find the links for the makeup, I'll put those in the description box. I um, <laughs> don't know what I feel about this. I haven't cut the, um, the net in because whoever, if anybody wants it, whoever gets it will... Um, want to do it to their own um hair you know their own head um and i mean you could have it styled how you wanted you know it is all real hair it's very easy to put on and it feels very very i'm surprised at how comfortable they do feel when they're on now what i'm going to do is in the description box i'll also link the previous video so you can see the other wig um should you want to um buy one or if you want to try and um be in the drawer for this wig i would prefer it if you know you you, you need um a wig medically because they are very expensive um but anyway <laughs> anyway it's just been a bit of fun this hasn't it um and if you want to see more of this sort of thing let me know let me know uh so um i'll put all the details in the description box thank you for watching um it's a laugh if nothing else isn't it thank you for watching and if you haven't subscribed and you'd like to please do <laughs> bye